Hello boys and girls, let's do some math. So today, we're going to start off with our thinking caps, right? We're going to put these on because we are going forward into a brand new chapter, right? A brand new chapter, we're going to go back to doing some addition and subtraction. We're going to need our thinking caps to help us out. So we'll put these on, make sure you have it nice and snug. We are all set. We're starting off right off this video with a problem. Here it is. Uh-oh, you might say, because there's nothing here. All there is is two. Can you come up with a problem that makes this true? Something minus something equals two. Can you do that? I know you can. Make sure you guys write it down and send that to me with the rest of your work. Make this a true sentence. All right. So that's just our first step, right? That's, to get, that's a little uh, brain teaser to get our minds ready for what's to come. And what's to come is this. We are going to do some word problems. Now, we have uh, a chapter five. Chapter five is what we're on. And right now, I just want you to use either a whiteboard or a piece of paper, okay? We're not, we don't have to worry about opening up uh, our, our book. I'm going to read uh, a couple problems to you, okay? I'm going to read a couple problems to you, and I want you to uh, put everything together, all right? And we're going to walk through the first one together, all right? First off, if we say that there are 16 turtles on a beach, okay, so we have 16 turtles on a beach, that's first. Some swim away. How many swam away? Some. So we don't know. We don't know the number that swam away, okay? Now there are nine turtles on the beach. How many turtles swim away? So we know that some swam away, and we, we want to figure that out. We don't have that number. What we do have is that there are 16 turtles on a beach, some swim away, and now there's nine. Okay, so we know now there's nine, there was 16, how many swam away? The difference between the two numbers will be that answer. So let's take a look together. We have 16 turtles and nine swim away, right? Nine or some swim away. So sum equals nine. This is what we would look like. We don't know this number. We know the first and the last. So what can we do to get there? Well, we can use our strategies that we've been using. We can use cubes, 16 and nine. Can I take 16 and take away nine to get this middle number? Sure thing. I can also use uh, cubes to count on. You can use a number line to count back or count on. Count back, start at 16, count back nine, or start at nine, count up to 16. Right now, I have some cubes that have not been taken by Bigsby. So let's use these. Okay, so the first number that we have is 16. So I'm gonna take my 10, I'm going to add six more to that to make 16. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. There's 16. Now, the next step is to take away nine of these, right? Nine of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm left with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I come back to my problem. I fill in. A seven, how many turtles swam away? Seven, just like that, okay? So we put that information together, all right? You don't want to just start doing the problem. You just don't want to grab numbers and just start doing them. You want to take your time. Make sure you know what is being asked. Okay, so this is, is a problem for you to do, all right? I'm going to read it a couple times for you. There's four rabbits in a garden. Some more rabbits come. 
Now there are 12 rabbits. How many rabbits come to the garden? Okay, so you can use your number line. You can use your cubes. You can even use a picture for this one. There's four rabbits in the garden. Some more come. What is that asking? Or what is that telling you? Some more came. So it's adding, right? If I had four rabbits, and we don't know how many more come, but if some more come, we're getting more rabbits, right? So some more come. Now there's 12. So we need to count on until we get to 12. Or you can take 12 and subtract 4 to get the answer. Because you're, you're looking for the difference between the two, right? So you can find that. So I want you to write out that, that whole sentence on your, on your paper and then solve it. Okay? So when you turn it in, I'm going to see a complete math, addition or subtraction sentence, whichever one you're using. Okay? All right. And you can pause this because I'm going to do a couple more, uh, a couple more word problems. So if you need time to work, please pause this video. Next, there's 14 birds in a tree. 14. Okay, that's a pretty big number. There's 14 birds in a tree. Some fly away. There are, are nine birds still in the tree. How many birds flew away? One more time. There are 14 birds in a tree. Some fly away. There are nine birds still in the tree. How many flew away? All right. What are we doing there? Addition, subtraction, which one are you choosing? Either way can get you there. Because remember, addition and subtraction are related. Right? So there's multiple ways to answer these. Okay. There are 20 ducks in the pond. 10 ducks swim away. How many ducks are still in the pond? There are 20 ducks in the pond. 10 swim away. How many ducks are still in the pond? Okay. All right. A couple more. Just a couple more. Three eagles land in the trees. Now, 12 eagles are in the trees. How many eagles were there to start? Oh no. Calm down. We're trying to find the first first number. I know it sounds like it's going to be uh, crazy, but it's the same thing you have been doing up until this point. Right? Either add or subtract. You can count on or count back. Three eagles land in the trees. Now, 12 eagles are in the trees. Right? So we have three and we have 12. So count on, count back. Let's all find the difference between the two. And you got it. Okay. Eight squirrels are in the park. Some more squirrels came. Now there's 16 squirrels. How many squirrels came to the park? So there's eight squirrels in the park. Some more came. Now there's 16. So how many came to the park? All right, and we're going to stop there. So because I think that is enough word problems to start us off today. We're going to see how this goes. Hope you have fun with that. Remember, you can use whatever strategy you want, right? Number line, dots, your picture. You can do uh, cubes, which I, I showed a little bit of. And if you like using your cubes, you have those uh, uh, available go ahead and use those if Bigsby has come by and taken your cubes and we're gonna do a different strategy right well we can, maybe we can use a number line number lines good right you can do that all right boys and girls have fun with this I will see you all very soon keep your thinking caps on